Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to use Microsoft Outlook from the very beginning, setting up a new account to sending and receiving emails like a pro. Let's jump in. So first things first, when you open up Outlook for the first time, you'll see a screen like this. Now there's a couple options. You can either sync an existing account if you have a Yahoo or a Gmail or something like that, or sign into your existing Outlook account. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new account and I will show you how to sync your other email accounts later on. But first, let's just start with a brand new account. So we're going to create an outlook.com email account. We're going to click on that and we're going to add our email address. So we're just going to call this pretty simple, Andy Canode at Outlook. You click next and then it's going to ask you for a password. Okay. And then it's going to ask you if you want to receive emails and offers. I'm going to leave that selected and click next. And then it's going to ask some additional information about you. Add your name. You'll add your name, of course. Click next. It's going to ask you for your birth date. All right now it's going to ask you for your Windows pin if you have that set up. If not, it'll skip this part. And so all we're doing is we're just answering these questions as they pop up on the screen. And it's going to create your mailbox. And then it's going to take you to your home page. Now, each time you sign in, when you open up Outlook, it'll take you automatically to this section. Once you sign in, you won't have to answer those questions each time. So again, the first time that you come into this, it's going to talk about your privacy. Click next. I'm going to say, no, I don't want that. Accept, continue. And here we are. There's also going to be a box that's going to pop up in the corner the first time you come in to give you sort of a tour of Outlook. But we're going to say not interested in that, but you're welcome to go through there. And so let's talk a little bit about the navigation here. All right, so you can see across the top here, we're in the home section. And then you have sort of all your navigation bar through here. Across the top, it has your favorites, which are the things that you go to most frequently. You can also toggle that to close that out. And then you can say, here's the email account that we're in, and we can view the inbox. And it has some automatic sorting for the junk email, drafts, and we'll talk about this as we go through there. But this is how you navigate through here, and this dictates what you're looking at. So if you go to the junk email folder, there's nothing in there right now, and we go to the inbox and we see that. Now, if you click on that email, this is just the welcome email that they send. You can see this opens up the email here in this panel, and you can scroll through here, and you can see the email that way. Now, any of the emails that you get will look like this. And as you read through that, if you need to reply, you can hit the reply button here and then you can write your reply and then you click send and it sends that reply. You could also forward the email up here. You can just click on forward and then you can add another email address to say, hey, here's this email that I want to send. You know, you could send this to my other email address, right? So I could send that and it sends that whole email to someone else. So that's an option. And then once you get the email, if you're done with it and you don't need to do anything else with it, you see if you hover over the email here, there's a little trash can and you can click on that and it deletes the email. Now that's gone from your inbox, but you'll see over here on the panel, you can see deleted items. You can see that's in there. Now these will stay in your deleted box, sort of like a recycling bin for 30 days, unless you say that you want to permanently remove it. I usually utilize that 30 days so that if I delete something and didn't mean to, I can always go to this deleted item and find it in there. Now, once you get a lot of emails and they're in a lot of different folders and you're trying to keep things organized, sometimes you'll lose track of what you're looking for. So you can go up here on the search and you could type in, for example, welcome, and you see it found that email again. And you click on that and it has all these, these emails, even though I had deleted it. So that's kind of a nice feature there. So let's go back to the inbox. Now over on the very side here, you can see you have some additional tabs that you can look through. So we're on the mail tab and then you can go to a calendar view. So you can see all the things that are in your calendar. You can go to people once you've added people into your contacts and you can even add a to-do list in there as well. So the key is when you're navigating, you kind of have to make sure that you have all these areas selected. One, you're in the mail. Two, you have home selected. And three, you're in the proper mailbox. And then you'll see everything in there. If you are in the calendar view, even though you're in the home, you might be going, where's my email? 
uh, you may need to make sure that you're in the mail section. So just several tiers to kind of make sure that you have those as you're navigating there. So we've received some email, we've replied to that. Now let's talk about emailing, creating a new email. So right up here, the big blue button, you can click on that and this is a new email. So let's add an email address and we're gonna, again, we're just gonna add my email, my other email, okay? And once you've emailed certain people a few times, you can see that it will, it will automatically autofill that. Or once you add people into your contacts, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Now, if you're just sending that to one person, then you're all set. If you want to add somebody else onto that, you just hit the CC, carbon copy, and you can add another email. You can also do BCC, which is blind carbon copy, which means that anybody you add into this email address will not be shown, will not be able to be seen by the person in the to box, okay? You can also just hit comma, and add an additional email address in the to box, and you can add as many email addresses in there as you want. Next, you add a subject line, which this is that, you know, what the email is about that pops up for the recipient first. We're just gonna call this my first email. And then you click below that, and this is the body. This is where you would try type out your message. And then you type out the message here. You have a couple of options. If you're done with the message and you just want to send it, you could click on the send button up here and it'll send it. Or if we just navigate away from the email, let's go over here. Let's see our sent items. Now in the drafts box, you can see a one there. And if we click on it, that's the email there, which is marked in red as a draft, which means it hasn't been sent yet. And you can open that up and make edits as you need to and send it later. Once it's the way you want it, you can either just, again, click on send to send it. Or if you click on the little arrow here, you can schedule it to send later. So let's say this one we want to schedule to send tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. You click on that and then we click send. Now that is scheduled to go out tomorrow morning and first thing in the morning, it'll arrive in the box. And now in the drafts, you can see it says scheduled. And now you can see here, this message is scheduled to send out tomorrow morning. So that's always an option. We're gonna go back to our inbox here. Now let's create another email here. And again, I'm just gonna make this to me, okay? And you see that auto-populated there. We're gonna call this, check this out. What I want to do is I want to show you a couple of the options up here. So you can change, you know, the font, the font size, you can make it bold. So if we highlight that, we can make that bold. We could change the font. We can make it bigger. You could do all the things in there, just like you, any word processing app. You can also add bullets. You can indent, do different things like that. But what I want to show you here is this little paper clip. And this is to add an attachment. So if you click on that paper clip and you can browse your computer and let's just find something here, go into our documents, look that demo, you can open that. And you see here, now it attached that Word file demo into the email. So now when I send that, the recipient will receive that file attached to it and they can download it and use it and do whatever they want with it. So now I'm just going to click this to send now. And you can see, there you go. Now it is sent. And if we go into our sent items, you could see there's the one that is that we sent earlier. And you click up here. This is the one that we just sent with the attachment. And you see in your drafts, we still have this email that has not been sent because it's going to send out tomorrow morning. Next, we're going to head over here to the people column. And this is where you can add contacts. So let me add a new contact here. And we're gonna call this Andy Canode. We're gonna add the email address here, which we've been sending to, okay? And you can add phone numbers, the company they work for, notes about them, but then you can just, you can even add a picture of the person if you'd like and click save. So we add the contacts in here. Then we can go to groups, create a new group and call this work, create. And then it's gonna ask you, oh, who do you wanna to add to this? And I go, oh, I wanna add that contact that I just created and we add that in there. Now you have a work group and you can see all the emails that came that were from or to anybody that belongs to that group. You can see all the files that were exchanged in that group. 
uh, any events that are coming up, and of course the members, which would be, we have two members, myself and myself, but it's the other myself, right? So you can see all of that in there that way. So that's another way you could have like a work group, a personal group, but there's a special team that you're working on. You could have, you know, a school group for your kids, whatever you need, you can create and edit those groups in there. So we're just gonna go back to our mail here and go to our inbox. Now, in addition to groups, you can also create subfolders in your inbox to mark where emails go. So if you're looking at your inbox here, you just right click on that and you create new subfolder. We're just gonna call this needs attention. Okay, click save. All right, so you can see, I just sent myself an email from another email address. We'll open that up. And so let's say I get this and I go, oh, I need to do something with this. So let me take this email. And so if we just click on that email and we drag it over to the needs attention box, now it is in there. So you can create folders for family, for communications with your boss or for you know whatever you want to do so you can keep things organized that way. Now I also wanna to just touch on real quickly, just some of these other features that come with the Outlook. So one is the calendar. So you can, right within this calendar section, you can create new events, create the event, and then you create the day. Let's say that's tomorrow. Let's say it's at 6.30 p.m., ends at 8.30 p.m., and then you could click Save, and now we have a movie time on the calendar. You can also change the view, to look at it from a month view and you could see all the things that are coming up on your calendar. So a, a good way of kind of keeping your life organized with the digital calendar here built into Outlook. And then the other thing that you have built into Outlook is a to-do list. So you can go into to-do and here you can add a task, buy cat food. You can set reminders, add it to the calendar, or you can just list that out that way. You could add add another one, right? And so you can add all of these to-dos into your list and you just check them off as you finish them. So I love this because it's all integrated in together, all within Outlook. Now, next I'm gonna talk about if you have an existing email account from another service, like let's say Gmail, you can add that into Outlook so all your emails are received in one spot. So if you just go to add account, and then you just enter in the email that you wanna add. In my case, I'm gonna go, we have an email there. You click continue. You can sync this to your account, click continue. It's gonna take you to a sign in. From there, it's gonna open up a window in your web browser to sync up the account. You just wanna add your password. I have two-step verification added, so it's gonna add a code to my phone. Click next, and we wanna to go to continue. Now you can pick and choose if you want. I'm just gonna select all just so everything syncs with my Outlook to show you what that looks like. And we click continue and then we wanna go back to opening up Outlook. And then this screen is going to finish syncing here. And then it says success, your emails are now synced. And we go, you can either add another account or you can click done. And now you can see we have this email address which is our Outlook email address. And then down here we have the Andy Canode Show email address which is down here. We click on the inbox here and you see all the emails that come to that email address. We are now receiving emails that are going to that email address. We can also send emails from that email address all within Outlook. So this is a great way if you have like a company email or some Gmail accounts. I, I think if you're like me, you have multiple email accounts for different reasons. Now you can have them all organized into one account on Outlook and you can send and receive all your messages all within there. And with that, you are up and running, sending and receiving emails like a pro in Outlook. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.